Oberon is one of Bell's Brewery's biggest sellers. In fact, it accounts for about 45% of their sales. But there are a few things you may not know about the beer. So we asked WZZM 13's Chad Colton to dispel some so-called Oberon myths out there. Well, that's right, Lee. Tonight we spent some time talking with Larry Bell about the release of Oberon. And as you said, it's one of the most popular beers. In fact, last year, the brewery sold around a million cases of it. But in talking with Larry, we found out a few more interesting facts. Okay, so let's talk about the first myth, which is it's an orange-based beer. Well, that's definitely wrong. It's classified as American wheat ale. According to Larry, it's made of about 60% barley malt and 40% wheat malt. So the question is, why is it served with an orange? Is this some uh, marketing ploy? No, no, definitely not. Uh, this is one of the more interesting facts we found out about today. That trend actually started in bars and college towns in Indiana and Illinois in the early 90s, and it just spread from there. Larry actually said that he would prefer the bars ask people if they want the orange with their beer, or at the very least, serve it on the side. Yeah, okay, so lastly, we talk about this being a seasonal beer, right? Well, yes and no. Uh, as a matter of fact, Oberon is sold in uh, 16 of 18 states that Bell's distributes its products to, and it's only seasonal in the states where it snows. So in places like Florida or Arizona, Get it all year long. Well, very interesting. Who knew one little beer could cause such a commotion? <laughs> all right. I like it. Thanks very much, Chad.